What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and in an unexpected release, Apple has released the iPod Touch 6th generation. It builds off of the iPhone 6 while improving the iPod Touch lineup. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a full review on this latest and greatest iPod Touch. For a product thought by many about to be discontinued, Apple made a kick-ass comeback with the next generation iPod Touch 6. Now don't let the exterior fool you. I know it looks identical to the iPod Touch 5th generation, however, there's quite a bit going on underneath that shell. That shell that comes in three new beautiful flavors. One is this hot pink, a blue, and a gold. Now unfortunately with the arrival of these new colors, three old colors have been discontinued. The gold replaces the lime, the blue replaces the turquoise, and the pink replaces that old salmon-like color. Now that beloved camera wrist strap attachment knob is no longer available on the sixth generation, and that's sad because I loved it. I was the minority that actually used it and liked it. Most people don't care to see it go, but I think it's heresy. Now yes, the camera still sticks out. There's still a little Wi-Fi antenna band, that little black circle. Design is virtually unchanged. Aside from the colors, this thing is literally the exact same shell. And that's not a bad thing at all, because the iPod Touch 5th generation was a great redesign from the 4th. Instead of that chrome mirror background, it's now an anodized aluminium, and it looks great, and it's more durable. Now before I get into the specs, I just wanted to mention, why is this iPod Touch still in existence? Who is it for? Well, for most people who don't want a phone contract, the iPod Touch fits a perfect gap. I know iPhones have this entire device stuffed into that little music application and it's good enough for them. But the iPod Touch 6th generation is light. I mean, it's $200. It's a third or fourth of the price of an iPhone 6. It is pretty much no commitment. Throw it in a bag, go to the gym. It's mostly aimed at younger people too. I mean, it's just a great all around iPhone without the phone. And one last note on the design, the gold edition of the 6 actually has the gold inside of the home button, which makes for a really cool effect. All right, so here's what's changed on the inside. Apple has placed the Apple A chip used in the production of the iPhone 6 inside, as well as one gigabyte of RAM. Now it's slightly underclocked as to not match the performance of the iPhone 6. Also the battery constraints do prevent it from being at full speed, but overall it's a very, very capable device. Here's how it compares to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So it's just slightly underpowered, I'd say about 10 to 15%. I mean, you're not even likely to notice the difference in day day usage. And when comparing it to the previous generation, oh boy, there is like a four to five times difference. This is what you get when you skip a generation of a device. It goes from, uh, eh, I'll play some music on it to, oh man, this thing can really be used for some great games. Now here's something I bet you guys didn't even expect. The iPod Touch 6th generation does a better job in terms of graphic performance in certain areas than the iPhone 6. Now why is that? Because the screen is smaller. The iPhone 6 has way more pixels to push because it does have a larger display. So Apple knew what they were doing when they kept the screen size low. On a 4 inch display it's a lot easier to get the best graphical performance out of the same GPU than on a larger one. So you're going to have a really really great time playing games, you know, doing everything on an iPod Touch 6th gen and in some cases do it better than on an iPhone 6. And because the iPod Touch 6th generation is using an A8 chip, it's going to have the new metal API. That means one thing, even better graphical performance out of less specs. So this thing is really going to make a great gaming handheld console. No matter what you're playing, 3D games, 2D games, this thing will be able to handle everything you throw at it. My only recommendation to you guys is when buying one of these, don't buy the base 16 gigabyte. I mean, do one step above because it fills up really fast. Next thing you know, you got 10, 15 games, some music, some photos, and you're full out of storage. That's going to suck. So make sure to get a fully capable one at least at 32 gigabytes. And this thing is going to make a killer, killer little device you can throw in your backpack, play games on it, you know, take it to the gym. This thing is really great for that. And to show you guys my point, I actually loaded up some of these games on my iPhone 6 and iPod Touch 6th generation just to see how they compare even just loading them. This isn't even graphical performance, this is just loading the same game on both devices. In most cases, the iPod Touch 6th generation was a bit faster than the iPhone 6, and that surprised me. Now, the performance of the device isn't the only place Apple's made improvements. They've also made improvements to both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi module inside. So now you can get download speeds of up to five times faster than the iPod Touch 5th generation. I got 120 megabits on my iPod Touch 6th generation and barely touching 20 on my iPod Touch 5th generation. I mean, this thing is incredibly fast. It's got the latest AC Wi-Fi standard, so it would only make a difference, of course, if you have the compatible router, but holy cow, this thing is fast. Apple has also introduced Bluetooth 4.1 on the new iPod Touch. Not even the iPhone 6 has this. Bluetooth 4.1 mainly focuses 
on reconnecting after a failed connection. It's a lot faster to reconnect. And of course, it's more energy efficient while maintaining the range and features of 4.0. And Apple did throw in the M8 Motion Co processor. It's a separate processor that tracks your fitness. Basically, it's for energy efficiency. And if you're into all the fitness stuff, it definitely helps with that as well. Now let's talk cameras. Yes, Apple made changes to the rear camera, but little do people know they did update the front facing camera as well. The pixels have been restructured, so it's going to do a little bit better in low light performance. And sadly, the pixel count remains the same at 1.2 measly megapixels. Now the rear camera receives an 8 megapixel sensor from the iPhone 6, as well as a slow motion 120 frames per second capability. Now I personally was very disappointed with the fifth generation iPod touch camera. It was very watered down. I knew Apple could do better, but they didn't want to upgrade the sensor. It was like an iPad quality. Well, the iPod touch sixth generation definitely steps up the game. The video capabilities are much better. Focus tracking is a lot better. I mean, this thing does really fast focuses, especially continuous autofocus in video mode does a very great job. Color reproduction is good as well. Overall, I was very satisfied with the daytime usage for the camera. However, when it comes to nighttime, slightly darker environments, it started to get a little bit noisy and that's to be expected with a sensor this small on the iPod touch. The iPhone 6 does a much better job, but from the fifth generation to the sixth, Apple has really stepped up the game. So in conclusion, the iPod touch sixth generation is definitely a worthy upgrade to the fifth. I mean, Apple has really outdone themselves. Yeah, there's no touch ID. There's no 4.7 inch display or true tone flash, but I'm very happy with what it is at the price point. $200, you get all this fantastic technology. It's going to make a great gaming device, great for music. Battery life is fantastic. So overall, this thing isn't revolutionary, but it has evolved to a point where I'm very happy with what I get for $200. Now, like I said, this device isn't for everybody. It's aimed at a younger crowd, people that don't necessarily need a phone contract. It does everything your iPhone can do just on a Wi-Fi network. I mean, it's a very slim, capable device. It's not going to change your life, but for $200, I mean, it's got a lot of great technology in it. The latest Apple A8 chip, a gig of RAM, what more do you need? This is the perfect gym companion, or maybe throw it in for a car trip. I would absolutely recommend this device. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate any input you guys have for me, so leave a comment down below. Like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for many more. I'll have a full iPod Touch 5 versus 6 comparison soon, as well as many more videos to come. So stay tuned for everything. And yes, I have tried to jailbreak this. It was not successful, unfortunately, but that should be fixed soon. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Enjoy your iPod Touch 6th generation. Peace.